later. Now they've become a part of student life, but our initiation ceremony is getting out of hand. The BBC has been given footage showing students lined up against a wall with bags over their heads, drinking and vomiting while being paraded down the road by their leader who is wearing a Nazi-style uniform. It sounds extraordinary, doesn't it? It's the University of Gloucestershire who's responded by launching an investigation. The National Union of Students has called for universities to ban initiations. <laughs> Pouring onto the street and enjoying the party spirit, thousands of students across the UK are getting to grips with university life. This is one of the biggest nights out in Freshers Week here in Cheltenham. But on a night out like this, many freshers across the country can end up taking part in these initiation ceremonies. And that's where the trouble can begin. I took part in a hockey initiation. Um, there was a lot of drinking involved, really. Unless you were a big drinker, you didn't really stand a chance. I could have walked away and come back the next day and gone, yeah, not to worry. But at the time, if we didn't, I'd get called a wuss or something like that. The levels they go to, is just they push it too far. I think the sports societies do push it too far and they shouldn't allow it. Unfortunately, things getting out of hand can end with students putting themselves in severe danger of illness, accidents and even death. Over the past five years, three students have died after taking part in initiations at universities in the UK. Welcome to Gloucester That's Uni. This footage obtained by the BBC shows students at the University of Gloucestershire taking part in one of these organised rituals. Here you can see them with bags over their heads, drinking and being sick as they take instructions from a Nazi-styled leader. How do you make the Nazi drink? Yeah, I think I was on a bit of a high after I beat you at pool. Yeah, ladies. Natalie Sutton took part in a similar ceremony. She says it was an experience she'll never forget. We had to do what the older girls told us to do, which involved eating fish from our bras, um, making us eat animal food that was just vile. Um, and if you didn't do it, you got yelled at. And then we had to go out as a club. Um, we had to face walls. People were crying. It was a horrible experience. The university says it's taken the evidence we've unearthed very seriously. Well, the investigation has been instigated because through the BBC's story uh, that you're now covering, uh, we have some evidence that there was an off-site initiation ceremony. Uh, I've seen that footage. It is totally unacceptable. Uh, and we want to get to the bottom of it. The National Union of Students wants a total ban on all initiation ceremonies. But we have seen now, thankfully isolated, but nonetheless incredibly serious cases of students falling very ill or even causing student deaths, and that's just not acceptable. In the meantime, the advice for new students is not to get pressurised into dangerous situations where the cost could be far higher than they'd bargained for. Siobhan Courtney, BBC News, Gloucestershire. Hello, Siobhan joins us along with Wes from the National Union of Students who you saw in her report. Hello to you both. Hello. Uh, Siobhan, it sounds extraordinary really. Have they not got work to do? <laughs> well, the whole concept of initiations originally comes from America, Sharma. It's called hazing, but it seems to have spilled over into UK universities. And the whole idea of initiations is that new members or freshers at university become um, parts of these sports teams primarily and they get recruited in and they have to do certain tasks before they're part of a team. So it's, it's really about sort of making friends and wanting to be accepted in those first crucial weeks at university. Now, whereas the, the thing is, some people will be saying, well, the students have just got there, they're going to let themselves go a bit. But that bit of footage of them in a public street with plastic bags over their heads and someone in front of them in what appears to be a Nazi uniform, we can see that they're still a bit behind us there. Now, that feels like something very different to me. Well, I think the footage there is actually shocking, sinister and pretty sick, to be honest. I mean, yeah. I think people expect students to go to university, have a good time, get involved in the social scene, make new friends, but there is absolutely no justification for that kind of behaviour we've just seen. And this is exactly why um, the National Union of Students have become so concerned by this sort of, these sort of initiation um, practices, and particularly the extreme examples we've just seen. That's it. It's where you draw the line, though, isn't it? I mean, that, as you say, is sort of sickening, shocking and, and potentially quite dangerous as they've got plastic bags. I mean, mm. I suppose they're... How old are they? 17, 18? I mean, that's the other thing. These people are grown-up adults. I mean, I, I think the whole point of sports clubs and societies, it's supposed to be an inclusive activity. It's supposed to get mm. more people involved. And this, 
this activity not only puts people at risk, but potentially excludes lots of people who don't want to take part in this kind of binge drinking culture. Yeah, and Siobhan, you were saying about how this has come over from the States. Mm. Uh, is, is it a problem over there too? Have they seen these kind of excesses and have they tried to deal with it? There has been um, deaths in the States. There's also been three deaths in the UK. We know that three students have died in the past five years after taking part in these initiations at universities in the really? UK. Mm. But also, you know, I think it's important to understand that not every initiation is a bad experience. We are seeing extreme examples examples here but as well as we'll sort of expand there it, it does seem to be a bit of a growing problem and as you said Sean at what point do you say this isn't fun anymore I don't want to eat a dog food sandwich or be forced to drink copious amounts of alcohol just to prove my worth you know it's meant to be fun a bit of a laugh and a night out what can you do about it Wes because we touched on the point that if, if um, the students are 18 then they are adults mm. so well, I mean you, it, it's difficult to know how you can stop it really we also know that student unions are taking a really proactive approach, so where this sort of activity tends to be taking place is actually off campus, off site, outside the sort of more controlled and responsible atmosphere mm. of the student union bar or the university campus. And we, we're asking student unions to ban initiations, many of them already have and many of them undoubtedly will off the back of this, and universities are taking a very proactive sorry, approach as well. to interrupt, but the universities themselves, can they take action if they, if they know of something which is potentially damaging or dangerous, is mm. banning the student or...? Well, we really welcome the fact that, like that. In, in the Gloucestershire case, the university has responded proactively. They are looking into it and they are putting disciplinary procedures in place for what is quite risky activity and exclusive activity, and that's something we very much support. And the BBC has actually called around a sort of snapshot of universities in the UK, and many have told us we don't seem to have a set policy on this, so it's quite a hazy area. But we do know that Staffordshire, Exeter, Reading, Southampton and now the University of Gloucestershire do have total ban mm. on um, initiation nice. ceremonies. All right. Uh, Siobhan Wes, thank you both for thank joining you. us this morning. Thanks very much. And if you know it, if you're a student, if you've been on one of these initiation ceremonies or, or you know that it goes on, let us know usual addresses. So the reason we've got a pile of books...